It's incredible. The largest stone in the world. One, two, three. Balbek! We like Real Madrid, huh? Yes. yes. For half a dollar to go to the largest Roman temples in the world. What a bargain. Guys, welcome to Balbek. Welcome to the world's most famous Roman sanctuary during the Roman Empire. This is Balbek. Can't wait to check it out. Finally, in Balbek, it's incredible. Baalbek, Lebanon, home to the largest Roman temple ever built. Massive structures behind me, so gorgeous, and prayer in the background. So it doesn't get much better. Let's check out Baalbek. Okay, so Jupiter Temple was the biggest building built by uh, Romans. So, and nobody's here except so us and a couple of other people. It's a shame. Wow. Yeah, it's a shame, of course. It's a shame wow. for local tourists. So I'm surprised that there are so few people here. So this is Persian, the lion, it's very typical. Yeah, why he has his mouth wide open, can you guess? Can you guess? He, he wants to... Water? Eat. Yeah, it would be for water because it would be on the top of the of the columns. So when the... Draining drops, system. Yeah, so it's, it's going through his mouth. <laughs> it's better than the camera. Yeah, so this is the Bacchus temple. Bacchus is Dionysus uh, for Romans, which is the god of wine. Uh, nobody knows if it's actually really Bacchus or not because there are no evidences, but they guess it is. So, which means there were a lot of orgies and uh, ritual dancing and drinking going on inside. That's why it's small, it's only for a limited group of people. So, this column fell down during the earthquake in uh, 1759. The blocks are very tight to each other. This is Pegas Temple, one of the most well-preserved Roman temples. Definitely not one of the most visited. It's all covered with sand, with dirt and dust. That's why it preserved the temple, because pretty much half of it was under the ground. So when the archaeologists came, they just emptied everything and cleared it. So that's why the writings are this high, not because the giants made those writings. Beginning of 3rd AD, a lot of OGs right here at this place. Because you fell in love with Cleopatra, even if you don't obey Roman Empire, you will still end up dying. If we won't kill you, you'll kill yourself. Romans were brutal people. Semitic star? Yeah, Semitic star. Big fans of geometrics. And the reason why they are preparing all of this now is there's gonna be a concert here. Hola Madrid! Real Madrid, Real! Hey, grande amigo! Amigo, eh? Madrid? Yes! Hey, Coalition, 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 coalition. Barcelona, Barcelona. Uh, no, no, no. Barcelona, no, 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 no. Barcelona, Barcelona. No, 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 no. Barcelona. Hola Madrid. Okay. Masalama. Salama, salama. I'm from Lebanon. Oh, okay, Chicago. Chicago. How do you like the welcome coffee? Oh, it is so nice. Do you know that the son of the guy who found this place and uh, get rid of the whole trash here, he gave us coffee. Whoa, what a legend. Yes, for him. They say if you touch it, you'll get pregnant. Only if you're a lady, I think. I'm not sure. how we do it Lebanon style we are now going to the biggest stone in the world this one is the smallest of them and if you touch this one you will get pregnant the saying goes I'm not sure so when you had a kid you went and touched the stone or? Uh, yeah I touched it many times I should have had like 100 kids by now oh, interesting <laughs> one two three four five six seven eight nine ten babies <laughs> This is the biggest stone in history made by humans located here in Lebanon. Super heavy. You have to feel it with your ass. Okay, yeah. Oh, it's so soft. <laughs> so that's how they transported the heaviest stone? Yeah, they would have uh, wooden rollers. They would put it on wooden rollers and the people would turn the wheel. So uh, for like one to centimeters per day, they would uh, move it. And it's around 900 meters from here to the temple. So yeah, quite a long scale work. True. How long did it take in total? 
In total, it took 250 years to build the temple complex. So what's the weight of the stone? The stone is 1,750 tons, so it's the biggest made by humans. So the stone of the pregnant woman is around 400 ton less than the other one that you see in the ground. Still, it's more than 1,000 tons each. Lebanon might be the third smallest country in the Middle East, but it has so incredibly much to see and so much hidden beauty. Definitely worth a visit. C'est bon? Quel pays que tu n'aimes pas? Je n'aime. Non, il faut pas aimer quelqu'un. Non, il faut aimer tout le monde. C'est bon. Merci beaucoup. Merci. This is a hidden gem that nobody knows about here. So this is a mosque. It's a Shia mosque. There are the portraits of Shia leaders are all over, and there is the tomb of Noah, the one who built the ark. This is the tomb of Noah. What a giant! So long. Unfortunately, yes. And Noah was a giant as well. And this sarcophagus is almost 32 meters long. And they say they put him triple times so he can fit. And they're saying that it's actually growing because if you go there, you'll see that the sarcophagus goes out of the, of the um, wall and uh, it continues. Nice. Gonna be. The only problem with the ice cream is it's a little bit challenging to get off. Oh. But once it's in the mouth, it's delicious. That looks good. Now everybody wants ice cream. Wow. 60? 60. Problem is that you non-stop. It's so delicious. Masha, do you like Lebanese ice cream? Really hard to get off. It's like chewing gum, but the reason why they do it is because it's so hot, so it might melt easily if they don't do it. So that's why. Where well, comes from? From Lebanon. Ah, uh, Lebanon. My point. Thank you, sir. This year. Welches Land magst du am liebsten? Beste Land Lebanon. Und Deutschland? Dort mein Liebe. Session. Schweiz auch, meine Liebe. Es ist wunderbar. Danke, mein Freund. Really beautiful place. Reminds me somehow of Samarkand in Uzbekistan and some Central Asia places. But uh, it's very beautiful here. In Baubek, Lebanon. Go inside of the mosque and see it from inside. Remember to subscribe to Gus on the Go. See you guys. Peaceful place and Baltic Lebanon. Super interesting. Baltic is different from the rest of Lebanon because it's so close to the Syrian border. This is one of the oldest trees in Lebanon. It has a special meaning to the people here. You can see they're taking photos with it and it really means a lot to the Lebanese people. Thank you.